Jesus Christ, it is so hot. You guys know what we're talking about today. They come in all different prices. You got your one percenters, you know, your US government officials and shit. You have your middle class, which make up the majority of the market. And then you have the, I don't want to buy a shit elite controller class, which is my personal favorite. As you guys guessed by one means or another, today we're talking about the price tiers of Xbox Pro controllers, starting at $40 and going all the way up to $400. I'm not letting that go ever. I swear, I swear to God, some of you guys may refer to these numbers as rent money. On your lower end tier, you have pro controllers between $50 and $100. Our next tier will be between $150 and $200, and the tier after that will be between $250 and $350. As crazy as it sounds, there are dumbass dudes out there who will buy more than one of these controllers a year. And since I am one of those idiots, I, there, there, there's no one better to ask about this. There really isn't. Please subscribe. I'm going to be broke by the next ad break. So our first and most expensive tier is very properly titled. And I'm going to run through it quick because I've already made a video talking about these a little more in depth. So you can go check that out, description below. But at between about $200 and $350, you have custom pro controllers, which are the highest trim of pro controller possible. Highest trim does not mean they're the best. Don't get that mixed up. They're just the most expensive for what reason? Who knows? These are your scuff controllers, Battle Beaver, Hex, Evil, Aim, just to name a few of the bigger players in the game. If you're 14 and like cool, shiny patterns, you can go on their website, build one of their controllers, pay $350, and get really dog shit performance. I really can only recommend these for dummies with dummy money, or proper terminology here, dummies with mommy's money. The warranties are shorter than Austin Evans, the reliability is about as good as a Ford Pinto. I, as a Microsoft representative who builds these controllers, accepts this as good reliability. And these custom controllers also have prices that could pay for brain surgery. That being said, custom controllers with just the competitive upgrades and no aesthetic upgrades are okay, I guess, sometimes, it depends, but maxed out, they're insane. So based on what I've said, by far, this category, least viable controllers. They cost the most, they perform the worst, they have the worst warranties all around, they have the worst performance. You'd be better off with literally anything else. Moving on. Our middle class sits at between $150 and $200, and this includes higher-end pro controllers. This tier has the controllers with the most unique designs, the most unique features, and some of the best performance in-game on the entire market. Here's a clip from COD to show you I'm not lying. I can barely fucking slide cancel. What the fuck do you think this is? The game is so rage inducing. And before I move on, but I was kidding about the slide canceling shit, you fucking commenters. In this tier, you have your elite controllers, your Razor Wolverines, your, uh, what, the, the what, what, what's that? The Duke controller, I think it's called? This thing that's about as big as my forehead? Shit. These controllers, uh, they're still really expensive. They're still really, really expensive, but they, they aren't for children. These aren't children's toys, all right? These are, these are for six foot chads. You got controllers that are bisexual. You got controllers made by snakes. You have controllers so complex, they break themselves in under a year, so you don't have to. This is the most diverse class in this video, and these controllers also provide some of the best performance for the money that you're paying, but it can easily bleed your wallet dry if you're, how do I put this? Broke as shit like me. So while this, in my opinion, is the best all around class to get the controllers that you need for your first person shooters, your uh, wh literally whatever you're using a pro controller for, anything that requires extra buttons or paddles and trigger stops, you should probably go here for the best performance. But these aren't the cheapest. The cheapest, oh, oh, they're fucking good. So cheap, in fact, they are cheaper than your Xbox Series X controller. At our budget gods tier, we have controllers between $50 and $100. I bet some of you don't fucking believe me. Power A Spectra, two extra buttons, three right trigger stops, Gamer Girl RGB, $40. Again, for $40, you could also add an attachment to your stock Xbox One or PS4 controller. Collective Minds, Strike Pack, Eliminator. Do not ask me about the next gen consoles. They do not make these things for those pieces of shit. I've pinned comments at the top of my comment section and people have still commented asking what i no they don't work on the new console stop asking the strike packs have mods don't use them you riot shield wielding vinyl controller the power of fusion pro v1 is the same price as your xbox series x controller comes with four paddles three ray trigger stops swappable thumbsticks and a carrying case for those tournaments we all know you aren't going to do not bullshit me you don't go to tournaments in terms of like actual value per dollar this is probably the best category, but in terms of price to performance, 
I would say, yeah, the, the middle class category has got you. Middle class has the controllers like the ESWAT Pro, which are highly reliable. The Wolverine controllers, which are the best for shooters by far. The Elite Series 2, which is a... My shit looking gross. I look poor. If you guys wanted to do a PS4 video on this, uh, please let me know. I'll do that when I actually get some PS4 controllers in here. But let's move on to the part everyone skips to. Welcome to the part of the video everyone skips to. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the video like this. This is already hot as hell. I look like the mailman. Do you guys know who the mailman is? I, I can't zip this up. Anyways, so uh, what should you buy? Well, whatever you want. But if you are actually looking for something that is going to perform for the money, middle class is probably where you wanna be. But if you don't wanna actually spend that much on a controller and the majority, the vast majority of people don't, always go with the budget gods tier i'll probably go more in depth with that tier alone in a separate video for like the best budget xbox controllers the best high-end xbox controllers and i can do the same thing with playstation but our most expensive tier the custom controllers just if you want something to custom or customize go ahead but again in terms of value they're the worst by far i i don't even know why pro players use them i guess they just get sponsored and don't care i'd love to be fucking jev just have like 60 scuff controllers sitting around i would just frankenstein things together so i will leave links to uh, some of the controllers in all of these tiers probably all the controllers in the budget gods tier all the controllers and maybe even a fuck uh, a, a fuck extra a few extra in the uh, the middle class tier and for the the high end expensive tier i'll leave uh hex and their controllers don't even really hit over 200 dollars, so you're, you're good oh yeah aim to be 100 percent honest everyone should probably be taking this quote and i really want you guys to think about it you don't really need to spend any more than about 160 bucks that's really just the, like the flat line you don't need to spend any more than that and if you want to get started you can get started for cheaper than what you're probably playing on right now which is more than likely a stock controller i mean my subscribers don't do that my subscribers are fucking pimps fucking galaxy shit bro but at the highest number there 160 dollars you can get a razor wolverine ultimate which is like my all-time favorite controller for shooters its brother is also perfect for shooters the speed of that controller the placement of their buttons the design behind them that is shooter focused really makes them good controllers for those especially for the price you're paying but for people who don't want to go strictly first person shooter based you can get something like the power a fusion pro the v1 is 60 bucks the v2 is 90 the v1 and the v2 are basically the same thing made a video about it the power a spectra is forty dollars comes with two buttons three trigger stops like really to get started or to like have a pro controller for you know your shooters or whatever you don't need to spend a shit ton of money bro links and shit below uh i have two blaring lights in my face and something standing in my seat to hold my camera so i i gotta shout out members after this is all done future me take it away i don't know how they're still here but i'd love to give a huge shout out to our controller player members jg Waterless, Big Bird, Ninzaki, Young, The Ballin' Boy, Billy Rab Organs, Lincoln Shepard, Jimmy All in Olive Oil, NAHK, Mike Clark, Frosty APL, Matt, Jorge Castillo, Lucas, Dabbing Goat, Player One and a Half, Justin Webb, Easy G, Nipolis Cage, Justice Violino, Got Danks, Kenny the Pimp, Shikamaro Nara, R Wise, GDJT, Brandy Stone, J Castro the Third, Andy Loves You, and our newest member, ZRZ Cactus. I've been getting a crazy amount of them the past couple of months. I cannot thank you guys enough. We're closing in on almost a year of being able to have these. And I've almost had members for a year. It's insane. Can't thank you guys enough. Shit is crazy. Let me know what you guys think about this whole format thing with the green screen. I finally got some lights that are actually like decent. So I can do this without having like an intense shadow back there. I'm going to leave before I lose more sponsorships. I love you guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. I now have to uh, go back to my home galaxy. See you later.